Hey everyone, I'm back with my second CSS tutorial and this time I'm going to be showing you how to use external CSS style sheets. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Notepad and we're going to type in body and then open brace. Now this is the CSS, everything in this is going to be CSS. So once we've opened brace, we type in background dash color and then uh, colon green and then close brace. Then we're going to do dot anything and then we open brace again, color, white, again you can choose any color, close that and then font dash family colon Arial, close and close brace. Now where it says anything you can literally write anything. So we're going to go file, save as, we're going to save this to the desktop. We're going to save it as anything you want, anything at all you want. So we're going to, for instance, save this as anything.css. It's got to have .css in the end. Once you're happy, press save. So we're going to, as you can see, it's there. The icon will look different for you. It will probably, probably be a notepad icon, but I've got Dreamweaver, so that's why my icon's like that. So I'm going to open up another notepad file. So this is going to be our HTML file. So HTML, head, uh, and now we're going to do, we're going to now link to our CSS. So link rel equals open speech marks style sheet close speech marks space type equals open speech marks text forward slash, oh, forward slash sorry, CSS close speech marks and space. And now we do href equals open speech marks anything dot CSS. And that's because our, our external CSS sheet is called anything. If we were to have named it style, we'd have put that, but we're putting anything because that's the name of it. So we can close that now. And now we're gonna add, say, title. So title, uh, this website uses, uh, uses external CSS, close title. And we're gonna close the head. And now we can open the body. Uh, and now we're gonna open a div code. So this is new, this is div space class equals anything. We type in anything here, close speech marks, close the div tag. Um, and I'm going to explain why. Because we put dot anything, so if we were to change this from dot anything to dot header and this to uh, header, then that would work as well. So they've got to be matching. So we've done that, so we've changed it. So we're going to go file save. We're going to change that. So it's changed to header now. So this is header. So Anything we want in here is going to be the same as the header style. So welcome to the site. And then we can close div. So everything in between the div tags with the class of header is going to be this. So the color of this text is going to be white and the font family is going to be Arial. So now we go back to our HTML, close the body and close the HTML. Again, this isn't necessary, but it's just a good habit to get into. File, save as. We're going to save it to the same place as we've saved the style sheet, so the desktop. And we're going to close, uh, we're going to, sorry, we're going to name this as index.html. Again, it can be anything.html. Press save, and we've now got the two files, the CSS and the index. We're going to open with, you can open it with any internet browser, so Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, Oprah, whatever you want, but we're going to choose Internet Explorer this time. And there you go, this is our HTML document. As you see, the background is green, and the text in between div is white, and it is Arial. So if we go back to our CSS, if we open up our CSS again, um, you will see that it's white and Arial. That's it for our external CSS tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. More videos coming up soon. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.